Weekly Contest set for one fall. Introducing first from Staten Island, New York, weighing 230 pounds, Chris Payne. From Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing 204 and one half pounds, he is the product. trying to claw his way back to the top of the heavyweight division here at PBW, but he has to get through his opponent, Chris Payne, before he can go anywhere else. And Chris looks pretty good here. Absolutely. Both these men, phenomenal athletes. Collar and elbow tie up. David Starr down to one knee. Chris Payne getting the strength advantage here. Oh God, he look who it is, look who it is, EJ. Starr into the corner. Oh Look no. Who this is unbelievable. Didn't you already cause enough havoc tonight? Yeah, what what's going on? Folks. What do you mean what's going on? I'm joined here with Ryan Race. Hi everybody, how you doing? Calls himself. We we would have know what was the deal with T Rex out there in that last match. What is that smell? Oh, GI Bear is here. That's what it is. Yeah, that's a good one there, Teletubby. So GI Bear, go back I, to Mount Carmel. I want to know what's going on with the T Rex. Why did she uh, turn on Sammy back there? What did you tell her? Ha! <laughs> Maybe she got a large sum of money from an unknown person. I have no idea. David Starr runs right into Chris Payne, and it does not do anything to the big man. Oh, I'm calling it right now. My old buddy David Starr is going down tonight. He's about to enter the house of pain. Uh, I see what you did there. That was actually rather intelligent for you. Ah, you, you caught on that there. You, it, Cameron really would have had that immediately. David Starr went for the backslide. Chris Payne avoided it. Oh! Bit another big shoulder block to David Starr. Yeah, he just saw it there. He's looking at Chris Payne now, isn't he? That reminds me, uh, EJ, where is Camarelli? Don't worry, I thought you would know. No one knows where you're going. Well, last I heard he was vacationing at my 
beautiful mansion paid for by J.P. Spellis uh, about a year ago, of course, uh, down in Costa Rica. And look at that, the disrespect from David Starr. Oh. Showing him who's in control of this yeah, matchup. But, oh. That's what happens when you want to taunt everybody right there. Oh, that was incredible. Chris Payne keeping this one at a slow pace. Oh, beautiful hip toss. It's going to work in his advantage a little bit better than it would David Starr. Starr, of course, an award-winning collegiate wrestler from Westchester University. Won many accolades there. And look at that. They didn't teach him that in collegiate wrestling, I'll tell you oh. that much. P stiff right hand right to Chris Payne. And I believe David Starr was the first ever PPW World Heavyweight Champion. That was a very short-lived reign, yeah, wasn't that but like, you are correct. Wasn't that like two minutes? David Starr went for the suicide dive and ate a knuckle sandwich right in the kisser. Hey, does GI Bear talk? I'm just listening to you, Teletubby. Oh, you're so kind. That's Chris, why That's why I don't book you on the card. I just was talking to the higher-ups, and uh, we might see a Teletubby match coming up in the near future. Oh, is Freddie Akers going to be in that one? Freddie Akers versus G.I. Bear. Close. Anyway, Chris Payne here in firm control over David Starr. I'll tell you what, whoever comes up with the W in this one, it's gonna raise their ranking in the heavyweight division and put them in contention for that number one contendership. Oh, without a doubt. I mean, to be honest though, it doesn't matter. Even if one of these guys got a title shot, they're, they're not gonna beat the storm. Especially when you have something to do with it. Well, absolutely. Oh, unbelievable. Oh, what the? Planted David Starr right on his nose and gets a near fall right there. Chris Bain, very impressive showing so far here tonight, keeping David Starr at bay. Never underestimate David Starr, though. He's a sleeper here in this heavyweight division. Not the biggest of the heavyweights, but as I was saying before, his skill on the mat is matched by no one in this business. Oh, I will give Dave, give David Starr that. He is an amazing athlete, uh, without a doubt. Chris Payne has a rear chin lock in deep. David Starr trying to will his way back to his feet. The crowd getting behind him. Oh. David Starr with a big chop. That's one way to get out of it. Unrelentless as he brings the back of that hand across the chest of Chris Payne. And he is right. just going bananas yeah, Josh, in the ring. Josh Meinecker has to get control of this match or I'll bring Dan Marsh back out. There you go. Let me, let me ask you, where do you find these refs at? I have no idea, actually. Uh, Chris Payne dumped outside, but right back on the apron. Eats a stiff shot from oh, Starr, and look at the speed nice. from David Starr. Unbelievable, and here he goes. Full blast ahead. Oh, oh, and Chris Payne five. caught him and slammed him right into that guardrail. Yeah, we need a whole new deck of referees. I think these guys were trained at that uh, PCWA camp. It, you know, I was just going to give you a good compliment on your refing abilities, but now I just don't know if I could do it. Oh, I'm an amazing ref. <laughs> yeah, because usually when you ref, you get your clock cleaned by somebody. I That's mean, why I like seeing you, you refing. Uh, you know, I'm going to give him a little bit of props here. When he was down at PCWA, he actually did pretty good in that ring. Oh, I had things under control. I, I'll give you the props on that one. David Starr sizing up Chris Payne. Payne blocks the... Oh! oh what an uppercut. Good. Nothing fancy about that, I'll tell you that much. That has Chris Payne seeing stars. This has the potential to steal the show tonight. Definitely Chris Payne see that. Scouts, scouts the suplex, holds on to the rope. Oh! No! Couldn't get the grip on the rope. Oh! Kermit suplex into a super kick right on the button. David Starr. Oh! oh! That was close. That was close. Without a doubt. Two and three quarters on that, that was, one. That was vintage G.I. Bear right there. I don't think G.I. Bear's in this match, Ryan Ray. So he's sitting right next to you. Yeah, here comes another vintage G.I. Bear move. Here it comes. I, I wish I was in a match tonight. Yeah, that'll put the crowd to sleep. 
I have David my fans Starr. over there with their signs. Oh, yeah, both of them. Signs it off Chris Payne, hammering him with those forearm smashes. And a little flavor. You actually got like. On the rewind there. You got uh, six fans out there. You got those two over there. You got Carl over there. Yeah, he Ryan does Race. count for three. Why don't you try calling a little of the action here? Oh, oh, oh power slap, slap for that Chris Payne. Oh, and a two and three quarters on that one. That was incredible. That came out of nowhere. That I'll tell did. you what, Payne was reeling, and he hit. David Starr, oh! oh. Vintage, Step up in Seguri. Vintage Freak Boy. I'll tell you what, if we're gonna take anything away from this match, it's that we're witnessing two equally matched athletes here. They're throwing everything they have at each other and neither one seems to be gaining an inch. Oh, and Star reverses. Oh. Brain Buster right onto the knee. That was more like a backbreaker there, EJ. Camarelli would have had that Why one. Why don't you let me call the moves there, Ryan Race? I, I, yeah. Well, call I, them right and I won't have to cut in. The back is on your back. The yeah, head is I, I, I a totally different part of the body. EJ, I didn't see him go on his back at all on that one. I'm sure you didn't. I see you flouting your back almost every month at BCWA though. Uh, that's pretty impossible that I'm one of the champions down there, though. Oh, now it's going to be a fifth fight. Both these men duking it out in the middle of the ring. They've thrown everything they have at each other, and now it just comes down to barbaric blast right to the face from both men. It comes down to who's the toughest. Who is going to give the first inch here? Who is going to show the first sign of weakness as this match races past the 15 minute mark? A little bit of trash talking out there now. Well, David Starr is called the Taunt Master, the King of Taunts. Combination blows from David Starr. That might take more out of him than it is Chris Payne. Up. Oh. Oh, he went for that elbow. Look at oh, that! Oh, what was that? Unbelievable. I have not That's seen that, that before. Was. Oh, David Starr. Chris Payne can hit you with a move like that from any angle. We saw that power slam out of nowhere. What else does he have up his sleeve? That's what makes Chris Payne so dangerous. He'll hold back, he'll hold back, and then when you're least expecting it, he'll hit you with a devastating maneuver like we just saw. David Starr not in a good position oh, as Chris Payne, Payne places him on the top row. He's going up. Better be careful, David Starr is just as dangerous on the top rope. David Starr starting to fight back here. David Starr fights his way out. Oh, oh. Chris Payne scouts it. Oh, Roaring elbow from death. David Starr. Death that has elbow. to be it. Death by elbow. You count the one, two, three. He's out cold. There and it is. Wow, that was wrote. incredible. What a great matchup. Awesome. Here is your winner. I have to sit next to this. Yeah, I'm not too happy David about it either. David Starr. I think I should go shower or something just from being in proximity to yeah, you. Well, I got to go. I was sitting next to GI Bear. I have to get a tetanus shot now. I'll talk to you guys later. See you later, Teletubby. You won't be missed. Looks like he's giving a little bit of respect out there. Absolutely, but after a match like that, they both deserve each other's respect. They took each other to the limit. They have nothing left in the tank. I'm gonna say that probably as of right now is the match of the night right there. I had this one circle on the card. David Starr never fails, never fails to put on phenomenal performance.